Hey, 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 Divas, you're listening to our daily devotion for the High Stepping for Health and Self-Love Sisterhood Challenge for the Divas of Fit, Fine, and Fabulous. And I am your host, Nicole Coach Twyde Twyman, and I'll be sharing 10 to 15 minute devotions every day during the month of September. Our goal is to motivate black and brown women to move their bodies and practice self-love all month long. So let's get started, sis. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Happy Thankful Thursday to each and every one of you. Today is a day of celebration and gratitude as we acknowledge our dedication and commitment to this challenge. We've committed a full week of high stepping, sis. High stepping for your health and self-love. We did it together as a sisterhood, and that is truly something to be proud of. We are one-fourth of ways through this month and this challenge. So your consistency is showing, girl, and it looks so good on you, boo. Let's show some gratitude together through today's affirmation. So repeat after me. I am thankful for the progress that I've made and for the opportunity to prioritize my health and well-being. I embrace each day as a gift from the Lord, and I look forward to the journey ahead with gratitude in my heart. I think you already know what today's verse is, right? It's Psalm 118.24, and the New International Version puts it like this. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Psalm 118.24 in the message translation sounds like this. This is the very day God acted. Let's celebrate and be festive. Girl, I don't want you to downplay this milestone. This one week milestone <laughs> means you are really going to finish this thing together with your fit, fine and fabulous sisters. On this thankful Thursday, I want us to reflect on the beautiful gift of each new day that the Lord has provided. Every step you've taken during this past week is a testament to your strength, a testament to your discipline, a testament to the desire to prioritize your health and your well-being. Congratulations, sis. Today, I want to talk about the power of being thankful, using the story of the healing of the 10 lepers in the Bible. Okay, so in the Gospel of Luke, we find the story of Jesus's healing of 10 lepers. These individuals were inflicted what a terrible, terrible skin disease and were considered unclean and isolated from society. When they saw Jesus, they cried out for mercy. They cried out for healing, like, please help me because they were unclean and isolated. Jesus instructed them to just go and show themselves to the priest, which is the customary way to be declared clean after healing. Now he hadn't already healed them, but he instructed them to just go show themselves to the priests. They believed it, so they went on their way. And as they were walking towards their destination to show themselves to the priests, they miraculously were cleansed of their leprosy. Now that's a story of faith, but that's a whole nother conversation because they, they believed it and they had the faith on it and they walked on it. So it's a great story of faith. But today we want to underscore the thankfulness of it all. Because only one of the 10 returned to Jesus to actually give him thanks. He fell at Jesus's feet and praised God with a loud voice. Jesus was surprised and asked, well, where the other nine of them? <laughs> where they at? And why only one returned to give thanks? He commended the Samaritan for his faith and told him that his faith has made him well. This story reminds us, reminds us of the importance of gratitude. Even when faced with miraculous, miraculous blessings, it's easy to forget to give thanks. But like the Samaritan, we should return to the Lord with grateful hearts, acknowledging his mercy and blessings in our lives. So I have a question for you today, Diva. Are you one of the nine or are you the one who returns back to God 
to give him thanks, the thanks he deserves. We started on this journey, and though it may not be as perfect as you envisioned, you made it through. You made it through a full week. I'm here to say, thank you, God. I want to become a woman of health. You wanted to become a woman of health, but you failed. I failed so many times in the past, but here we are completing a full week. Thank you, God. You haven't had a consistent workout routine in a while, or maybe you just haven't been walking or even thinking about God's grace in your life like you should have. But here you are, a full week in. You made it a whole week. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We say thank you for today. We say thank you for our progress. We say thank you for this first full week. Sis, take a moment to express your own gratitude for the progress that you've made in just one short week. Please don't take this lightly. Reflect on how your body is adapting to these positive changes. How it was hard to figure out how you were going to get 7,000 steps in but each day you're getting closer to figuring it out and some of you are far exceeding it. Reflect on how your commitment to health is growing stronger and stronger. I see your smiling faces in the group, excited about posting, excited about sharing. We thank you, God, for the shift in the mindset. Something from something that we have to do to something that we enjoy sharing and doing. Understand, sis, that every step you've taken, every devotion you've listened to, and every moment of self-care you've embraced is a valuable investment in you. You're investing in yourself. This is true self-love. Your dedication is so inspiring, and you should be so proud of what you've already achieved. We're not going to wait until we're done to be super happy. We've already done a thing. So we're going to celebrate that right now. Beyond the challenge, I want you to reflect on the blessings in your life. Consider the support of your sisters in this challenge, the encouragement you've received, and the opportunity to prioritize your health. Take a moment to thank God for these women pouring into your life, even if it's just comments on your post, even if it's just a like or a love of your post. They are blessings of encouragement that you wouldn't otherwise have. There are blessings of encouragement that you can't do alone. You can't do it on your own, right? So as we move forward, remember that this journey is not just about the physical health, but also about nurturing, nur nurturing your spirit and embracing self-love. Let your heart be filled with gratitude and let that gratitude be the driving force for the days to come. As we close out, you know, I always love for us to repeat our affirmation. Repeat it with me, sister. I am thankful for the progress I've made and for the opportunity to prioritize my health and well-being. I embrace each day as a gift from God and look forward to the journey ahead with gratitude in my heart. On this thankful Thursday, ladies, I celebrate you and your commitment to health and your commitment to your self-love. You are on the right path to a greater well-being. And each step you take is a step towards a healthier, more fulfilled version of you. Oh, we are leveling up this fall, sis. And before I go, allow me to pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, on this thankful Thursday, we come before you with hearts overflowing with gratitude. We thank you for the gift of each new day, for the strength to complete a full week of high stepping for our health, for our temples, for your temples, and for the progress that we've made so thus far. Like the Samaritan in the story of the healing of the 10 lepers, we return to you with thankful hearts. We acknowledge your mercy and blessing in our lives, and we are grateful for the opportunity to prioritize our health and well-being. Lord, help us remember that every step we take is a step toward a healthier, more fulfilled life, but not just physically, but also spiritually. May our journey be guided by gratitude, and may we continue to grow in faith and self-love. 
As we move forward on this path, grant us the wisdom to always return to you with grateful hearts, recognizing your goodness and recognizing the support of our sisters in this challenge right alongside us. Bless us, O oh Lord, as we continue to embrace each day as a gift from you. It is in Jesus' name we pray and let all the divas say, Amen. Sis, it is with great gratitude. Big old hugs and me screaming, Congratulations on completing a full week of high stepping for your health that I bid you will do until tomorrow. Set your intentions on having a fit, fine, and fabulous day today. Till tomorrow. Hey guys, thanks for listening to our Fit, Fine, and Fabulous devotion today. We're so glad that you're here with us. If you've completed all of your steps for the day, make sure you post your selfie in our Fit, Fine, and Fabulous Facebook group and mark this lesson complete in our app. If you're not a part of this challenge, but want free motivation, just join us in our Facebook group, Fit, Fine, and Fabulous. That's Fit, Fine with a Y, F-Y-N-E, Fabulous. Or follow us on Instagram at fit underscore fine underscore fab. Can't wait to connect with you.